Hello and welcome to Algebra 2 tutorial. Uh, we're going to take a look at a review of an Algebra 1 lesson you did a long time ago, Systems of Equations. Um, what, how can you solve um, a problem that has two different equations? Um, and we're going to take a look at the three methods you did in Algebra 1. You can solve this by graphing, substitution, or elimination. So we're going to take a look at each one of those um, to solve a system of two equations. So first, graphing. So we've got two equations. You often want to use graphing when you have y by itself because those are the easiest to graph. And so we're going to get two lines here. Um, and we're going to take a look and see where do they cross. So the first one, we have our slope. And we have our y-intercept. And we can use that to graph. So we start with our b value of negative 3, which is down here. And we're starting at negative 3, and then we're going to go up 2 and over 3. So up 2, over 3, up 2, over 3. Come on now, there we go. And so we have this as our line. You can even go backwards, down 2, and backwards 3 to give you your line there. So I'll draw as straight as I can. So there's our first line. Let's do the next one in green. Do the other one. We're up at positive 3. And then we go down 1 and over 3 for our slope. So you can see we're going down 1 and to the right 3 because of the negative. And we're starting up at positive 3, which was our y-intercept. So down 1 over 3 puts us right here, actually. And you can even go backwards over 3 and up 1. And so there is our second line. And you can see that they both cross right there at the point 6, 1. So that is our solution right there. Uh, x is equal to 6, and y is equal to 1. That is where those two lines cross. Hopefully you can see a bit of a downfall here. While, yes, this gives you a great picture, um, if your handwriting isn't great, and if you don't have a great grid system, or if your answers aren't super nice, graphing doesn't work. Um, if you have any decimals, that's very hard to figure out what they are supposed to be. So as a visual, graphing is great. But practically, it's not very useful oftentimes. So we have to use one of our other methods, uh, which are substitution and elimination. Uh, substitution always works. It's one of the harder ones. We're going to get that out of the way first. Um, but elimination is usually what you want to try to do for really difficult problems. Substitution means you need to get um, a variable by itself is the first thing you want. So a variable... by itself. And so you take a look here. What variable do we think we can get by itself? I think the easiest one is right here. The x is almost by itself. All we have to do is take this negative 4y and move it to the other side, and we will have x by itself. So to do that, we're going to add 4y to both sides. And what we'll be left with is x is equal to, it's by itself, uh, the 4y is positive, so we'll have 4y, and the 11 is negative minus 11. So we have a variable by itself. And what we're going to do is take this and substitute it into the other equation for x. So another way of thinking of this equation is x is the same thing as 4y minus 11. So instead of x, we're going to write 4y minus 11. So I'm going to rewrite this equation over here. So we're going to have 2. But instead of the x, we're going to write what the x is the same as. It is the same as 4y minus 11. All right, so we took care of this. The 2 is right here. Instead of x, we have what's in the circle. 4y minus 11. 
So what comes next? Plus 3y equals 11. And that was sort of the important bit because now I have one equation with only y's in it. And if I only have one variable, you can solve this. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy to solve, but we can. So we first distribute the 2. 8y minus 22 plus 3y is equal to 11. Let's see, the 8y and the 3y make 11y minus 22. Oops, there we go is equal to 11. Get the y by itself, add 22. So 22 plus the, the 11 is 33. That comes out quite nicely. y is equal to 3 when you divide. Now I have one answer, and if you remember from our last uh, example with graphing, we need two. You have to have an x and a y. So we have the y, we now need the x. So all we have to do is plug this y in somewhere over there. And you've actually got three options. You could do it here, you could do it here, or you could do it here. You just got to pick the easiest one. And because we are after x, we might as well take the equation that says x equals. So x equals 4y, but now I know what y is. y is 3 minus 11. So 4 times 3 is 12, minus 11, x is equal to 1. So we have both answers now, x and y. Um, think of that as a point. x goes first, 1, comma, 3. That is the point where these two lines cross. This first equation is a line, and the second equation is a line. I don't know what they look like, so we didn't graph them but we do know that they cross at the point 1, 3. All right, one more to take a look at here. So we've done graphing and substitution. Last one is elimination. This is usually the easiest. Um, you can do the most complicated problems with the least amount of effort. And so I'll show you how that works. This is the exact same problem, so we should get the exact same answer we're just going to do it in a different way. Hopefully it looks easier. So elimination means we're going to combine these two equations and make something eliminate. We either want the y's to eliminate or the x's to eliminate. Right now that doesn't happen. x and 2x makes 3x. 4y and 3y, uh, the negative 4y and 3y makes negative 1y. Nothing really eliminates completely. And so I need to change one of these. And I think I'm going to make this x right here, which is a 1x, I'm going to make that into a 2x to completely eliminate that. In order to do that, I need to multiply this top equation by negative 2. Because when that negative 2 multiplies the 1x, that will become a negative 2x, which will eliminate this 2x. So. Now if I distribute there, we do have to distribute everywhere else. And I'll just write it underneath. So negative 2 times 1x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 4y is 8y. And negative 2 times negative 11 is positive 22. All right, so now I've got these two equations here. And you can see, when I combine these, something will eliminate. 2x and negative 2x eliminates to 0. Uh, 8y and 3y combine to be 11y. And 11 and 22 make 33. Divide both sides by 11, and you get y is equal to 3. There's our first answer already. And to get the next one, we take that y and we plug it in somewhere. Again, you actually have three options. It could be any one of these. Um, let's see, I think this middle one here looks the easiest. So I'm going to take the middle one. So we have a 2x plus 3y, but now I know that y is 3. 
is equal to 11. This is a pretty easy equation to solve. That's a 9. Bring down the 2x is equal to 11. Subtract the 9 and divide by 2. So minus 9 2x is equal to 2, divide by 2, and x is equal to 1. So again, we have the point 1, comma, 3. Sorry about that weird parenthesis there. So again, we have two lines that cross somewhere. We don't know where they cross. Well, sorry, we do know where they cross. We just don't know what they look like. They cross at 1, comma, 3. Uh, hopefully you can see that elimination is usually a little bit easier. As you do some examples, you'll realize that elimination is much easier than substitution. Um, and so you just want to choose wisely when you're picking one of these three methods, graphing, substitution, or elimination. Here are a few for you to try. Um, I gave you one of each, and so each of those work pretty well for those methods. Try them out. Uh, Hopefully they work out for you. Good luck.